Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean from DaltonStills.com and today I'm going to be showing you how I use the presets in my new cafe and food uh, film style preset pack that I've just released. Uh, there's 12 presets as you can see here we have them on the left and um, you know I use a lot of presets but I use these on pretty much all of my photos and the reason for that is there's just so much variety in terms of all the ones that I offer here. So when I'm doing page shoots, um, I'll use these. If I'm just shooting for fun, I'll use these as well. Uh, if there's a summer day, I have presets that you know match that. And I have presets that match a, a nice cold day as well. So, so I have seven photos here, and I'm going to be showing you kind of my process, basically, and how I edit my photos. Uh, all of my cafe photos are edited like this. So here, you know, this picture is not perfect. You know, it's not super sharp here, but I think it's a good example of, you know, what these presets can what these presets can do we have some greens here we have some browns um, some highlights a nice nice decent contrast so why don't we just start at the top boreal energy i named it this because it's kind of green and really nice tone and actually that's really cool um but i'm going to keep looking here chill summer classic lifestyle crisp modern that's nice i like the desaturated colors uh why don't we try Vivid tones, oh, I like that too. Vintage identity, okay, I really like this one here. I really like that it's desaturated, it has a flat look. Um, but once you put the preset on, you're not necessarily done. And I think that's what a lot of people forget. So what I do is I off oftentimes mess with the exposure a little bit. So I'm just gonna lower the highlights a little bit and increase the shadows a little tiny bit. And that's probably all I'll do. Maybe I'll do like a localized edit here to increase some, some clarity here. I can go here, clarity, and just kind of paint over this area here just to kind of make it stand out a little bit better. But that's pretty much it. I go through my presets, I find which one works the best, and then I slightly adjust the, the lighting or maybe the, the, the saturation a little bit. Um, there's the before and there's the after. So I basically do that with all my photos. I think it's important to note that even if you're using a preset, you're not done editing. I mean, it's just a, it's a really good starting point, you know? So here I have the previews and you can see in this window here, you can see the previews. And um, that looks really cool. The crisp modern look, just going through these sophisticated tones. That's really cool. Uh, I really like, I really like the crisp modern. Look at that. Instantly makes it so much more beautiful. We have the vignetting here. Um, there's the light, the contrast is high in this filter and it's got like a nice blue undertone and I really, really like that. I think it matches the shot really well. And I'm gonna stick with, I don't even think I need to edit this one. I think it's perfect. Uh, I really love this shot. I shot this with 85 millimeter F1.4, um, sending a few feet away. My friend was here pouring. And I like that this one's not too desaturated because I really like this color here and I wanna keep that. So I have shots that are, you know, some of these are, are really desaturated and some of the other ones aren't. There's a vivid ones here as well, like this crisp modern. Um, this is kind of a simple shot. I think it's a good way to show you the preset. So if I did want to use this one, the deep detail one, which is pretty cool. It's a bit dark, right? So that's easily fixed. I'll just raise the shadows a little bit. Look at that. Oh, that's perfect. And then maybe even, even increase the clarity a little bit more. And check this out, before, after, before, after. I really like these like underlining green tones back here and this really crisp kind of look. Let's try um, vintage identity, that's kind of cool. Same thing, I'm gonna raise the shadows a little bit. Nice, really moody, emotional look, which I really like. Okay, I, I like this look here. And in this situation, maybe I'll even lower the shadows a little bit, increase the clarity. Cool. And there it is, before and after, before and after. So it immediately changes the mood and the whole vibe of the image. And that's why I use it. That's why I love these presets, because I can completely change the emotion that, that the photo is eliciting. I mean, this is a good photo. You know, the lighting is cool. But once I apply like maybe like sophisticated tones, that's, I love this. It's really desaturated. We're losing a lot of color here. 
we can like see this, this little rose bottle here. There's the before and there's the after, but I like that. I like that look. And for me, the contrast is a bit strong. So I'm gonna raise the shadows a little bit and then I'm gonna lower the highlights just to flatten it out a little bit more to get that really kind of moody, emotional, kind of subtle vibe. That's cool. Yeah. Let's move on to the next one. So here's like an outdoor scene. It's a little bit brighter here. Um, we have nice colors here. I really like these colors and the, the, the composition's nice. So why don't we look through these emo vibes, kind of desaturates it, but I like that the contrast is in a nice place. You can see everything really well. Deep detail, let's try that one. Kind of cool, crisp modern, looks good. Nice high contrast, classic lifestyle, chill summer. This one's pretty warm. This one's good for like a summer day, boreal energy. Maybe maybe I'll go with one of these here. I just go through all of them, you know? I never know which one's gonna look perfect beforehand. There's a few that I use a lot. Like I really like the sophisticated tones one that I use a lot. Uh, it looks cool here too. Actually, I really like that. And if you don't want, if you do want a little bit more color, that's you can easily just raise this vibrance up a little bit. And look at that, we're already pulling out some more color. If that's your thing, you know, I really like that desaturated look because it looks like film. So this was shot 85 millimeter uh, at a cafe in Penang, Malaysia. Really, really cool place. Uh, let's try Timeless Tones. It's cool. What about Vintage Identity? Okay. Upbeat Afternoon. Oh, okay, I like this. I like the really flat look here. It just makes it look so cool. I can raise the shadows a little bit. Lower the highlights a little bit. There's before, after. Before, after it completely changes the vibe, I love it. And you know what's cool about, about these presets is like you can use them on other photos too, not just your cafe coffee shop photos. You know, that's my style and I think they go really, really well with that style. But you can totally use it on, this, on these, you know, other pictures. This is a, a little cat that I met on the streets in Penang. So let's try Boreal Energy. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. I love how the, the clarity brings out some detail here, but we still have this focus on this little kitty's face. There's the before, there's the after, really cool. Chill summer, this is pretty warm. I like to keep my images cool, but I do like to use warm ones from time to time. So classic lifestyle, pretty bright, sophisticated tones, timeless tones. Let's try the vintage identity. Okay, this is the one. I love that. I love how it's still really sharp. Lots of contrast here, um, but it still gives it that kind of flat, that film look that just makes your photo like instantly more artistic. Lower the highlights just a little bit, just to darken it up a little bit. Really cool. So that's about it, guys. Um, these are just seven examples. I mean, I have so many more photos. If you go to my Instagram, pretty much all my Instagram photos are edited with one of these 12 filters. I can tell you right now, I really love the sophisticated tones one. I use that a lot. Uh, I really like the crisp modern and I'm really into the Boreal energy, which is kind of this popular kind of preset right now because it kind of focuses on those deep greens, those deep underlining tones. And I love that, love that vibe. Um, so yeah, I guess if you, if you wanna purchase these, you totally can, they're on my website. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoy using them as much as I do. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me um, either on email at info at daltonstills.com or you can just hit me up straight on, on Instagram um, at Sean Dalt, S-E-A-N-D-A-L-T. Thank you guys so much uh, and thank you for watching. I uh, will talk to you guys soon.